Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the latest videos that I made and that you're here for a reason. So just before we start the video, I just would like to ask if you could drop a like or subscribe to the channel because right now it's only about 1% of the viewers who are watching my videos who are actually subscribed. So I really appreciate it. And let's just get started. So I've been playing this assassin ever since the, the patch 2.7 came out because they made a change that finally this minus lightning resistance you get from infinity and from griffin and so on it actually works on traps and now with patch 2.7 we also have the added lightning damage from facets and from griffin plus 17 to lightning skill damage which also works on traps now which is new for 2.7 so the minus lightning resistance is from, from patch 2.6 but it only works offline now with the newest patch so I just wanted to show off here a really fun build that I've managed to to play with this girl. Um, I've been level, leveling her up because my other assassin disappeared. Um, and then I deleted some other characters and then she came back. So yeah, shit happens, I guess. So we're going to go through the stats. We're going to go through the skills that I'm using for this version. And then we're going to go through the gear she's wearing right now and some other alternate gear choices and some budget gear choices because she is very very strong um, so let's first just take a look of uh, at the stats here you can see i have enough strength here to actually wear a monarch i have a monarch here on on switch but it's also so i can show off how she plays without infinity um, we have zero points into dexterity this is all just from gear uh, and then everything else in vitality. Um, you can see the resistances are not very good, but it's because we're going to be using fade. So if I just pop on fade here real quick, you'll see all of our resistances are maxed out. Except for poison. So, <clears throat> oh, let's look at the skills. We have here maxed out fade. This is a personal choice. I did it because I wanted to get a lot of damage reduction here. You'll see later we have basically 50%, which is the max that you can get. But you could also use Burst of Speed for more speed. Um, then I have one point here into Shadow Master because it's very, very good for survival. She takes a lot of hits and helps with your mercenary surviving more also. And then we have just maxed out here in Traps. Um, and I have maxed out Lightning Sentry and then these two synergies. And then you can choose if you want to put one point into Death Sentry uh, to get the Corpse Explosions. As you will see, I'm not really using Death Sentry at all. Um, so I just threw the rest of my points into Fire Blast, which I also don't even need to use to kill these mobs. Um, but you'll see, we'll kill everything just with Lightning Sentry and then this Shock Web actually has a lot of damage now because of changes to next hit delay, so you could start throwing shock web instead of fire blasts uh, in between casting your sentries. Um. <coughs> All right, so for the gear on this version that I'm running right now, I have laying of hands. As you can see, I don't really need the fire rest. It gives two extra to fire rest um, for using these. Um, I basically just have them on for the increased attack speed, so you could definitely choose something else here. Um, we have Infinity here, uh, very nice Infinity, it's the same one I used on my Nova Sorg. Um, Griffin here also from my Nova Sorg with the lightning facet inside. Um, we have Amaras, I'm using here Natalie's boots and you'll see I also don't really need so much of the resistance from these guys. It's mainly just for the faster one walk because I want to run a little faster. We're not using fade. Um, we have a Raven Faust for cannot be frozen. A Verdungo here for damage reduction. And then I just put on a Stone of Jordan here. Like you could put on any ring that you want. Um, I just chose Stone of Jordan because I had an extra one. Um, 
And then we're using the new Hustle Rune Ward for the body armor and it's basically to avoid having to, to use uh, burst of speed because we get 65% run walk and 40% attack speed which as you'll see here from burst of speed is very comparable to what we get with a single point here in burst of speed so this basically takes care of our speed concerns matched with these boots it doesn't really even give you a, much of a speed increase now if you use burst of speed um, I have here a Thunder Charm to take off the Lightning Rest, I have a Torch and an Annie, we have some small charms here, I don't really need it, uh, it's just from when I was playing through the game. Um, another Lightning Resist here, more Lightning Resist, so basically these three here cancels out the negative Lightning Resist on the Thunder. And then we have a Trap Skiller and another Trap Skiller and some fire rest that we also don't need but whatever um, and yeah as you'll see with fade going let me just uh, show you here on the offhand we have cta so let me just get buffed up here so i can show you so as you will see here when we're buffed up we have, as you can see on the screen, we have 46% damage reduction, which is basically the same as having 46% physical damage resistance. So it helps us out a lot. And this is from Verdongos and it's from Fade, right? So every skill point in Fade gives you 1% of damage reduction. So if we have a, two extra skill points here from the Enigma and one extra skill point somewhere else, maybe another skiller here for Shadow Disciplines, we could actually get to the 50%, um, which is the cap. So let's just take a look at some gameplay, how she plays in the Chaos Sanctuary. Um, for the Mercenary, I'm just using the basic setup I use on all of my, um, all of my Mercenaries right now, inside, Cure, and a Prayer Aura, and then I just threw a treachery on here because I was using it on uh, my own character when I was leveling up. Um, so yeah, you can put anything you want. It's, it's just the main one I'm using right now for all of my characters because he's super strong. And as you will see, we don't really need to throw anything except for our normal lightning traps. Everything just dies pretty quickly. Um, and I'll just show you here, we're playing right now on players 5. Um, and she plays, she plays well on higher player level also, but I like it here at players 5 because it dies pretty fast. And as you'll see when I switch to some alternate gear. Actually, let's just take a look at the alternate gear first and then we'll get into the gameplay. Alright, so if you don't have the budget to have these two pieces of gear, you don't really need it. As you can see here, you can use Crescent Moon. And then that's why I have the extra strength, so I can put on a Spirit Monarch. So we get minus 55 Lightning Rest here, and then we get a lot from the Conviction Aura also. It's mainly for Immunes that we care a lot about this. Um, so for immunes, a level 12 conviction R is going to give you minus 17%. Um, and here we get minus 35. So we more or less double our minus lightning resistance from switching to infinity. Against immunes at least. And then against non-immunes, they, they basically will all have minus a lot lightning res. So crescent moon match with spirit and then if you have you can put on a shako if you don't have a shako you can just put on a regular old lore helm i don't think i have one no i have not and while you're still leveling up you can use spirit when you're not on um, dealing with immunes 
So if you put on Spirit and Shaco, um, you will not need the Thunder Charm because you have no minus lightning res on your gear. And this will get you through a lot of, this is like the old school uh, version where lightning res didn't really matter. And then you would have to use a lot of these fire blasts to deal with immunes, which works pretty well also. But I just like to have everything just die to my lightning. So um, what else can you use? Let me just switch back here. So you can use some other boots. We could put on war traps. If you don't want to have so much uh, faster on walk, you could put on sandstorm tracks. If you want to have more faster hit recovery, um, you can use basically any gear you have. She's very, like she's very pow powerful already and she has a lot of room to grow still. Um, so yeah, let's just see here, put back our Thunder Charm and then let's get into some gameplay. Like you could also use an Arachnid Mesh here for the extra all skills. You could also use a String of Ears, it will also give you damage reduction. I just put on Verdungos because it also gives me a boost to health through Vitality, right? Um, you can use any amulet here. You could use High Lord Wrath to get more attack speed to cast your traps faster. Um, so yeah, it's pretty flexible. Um, and I was going to show something. Ah, yeah, faster hit recovery. You can see the faster hit recovery is very low still. You could definitely use the sandstorm tracks to get up to 50 and then use some small charms here with 5% to get up to the to the next breakpoint. But you don't really even get hit that often, so it's not such a big deal. So let's just see here. We have about 2,500 health. And as you will see, she is very tanky. Uh, she does get hit a lot and when she gets hit, uh, we don't really even notice it. And the life that we do lose, we get back from the prayer hour right here, which triple stacks here through these. So we get 23 times three, so about 75. And as you can see, she runs pretty fast. If we switch over here to burst of speed, like the difference is not really even that great. And when the with the Infinity on, we run even faster because it has faster on warp also. And as you can see, everything just dies from our lightning traps. We don't need to cast Death Sentry. You can, if you want to, cast Death, Sen Death Sentry. Uh, when you have one point to it, it has a radius of about eight, I think. Yeah, radius 7 yards. So, it's not the greatest radius, but it still works. Uh, when I have some some mobs that have a little bit more health, I will use it. Like, let's cast one now to see. Yeah, it doesn't really help so much in my opinion. So, which is why I'm just sticking to the thunder traps. And as you can see, she's just very, very, very safe, this character. Like, you can stand back or you can stand in the middle and she takes very little damage. So let's just clear out a little bit of the Chaos Sanctuary and then I'll switch over to Crescent Moon and Shaco, so you can see how she does when she's a little bit more budget. So one thing you will notice when we switch over to Crescent Moon is that we will have uh, a lot more attack speed, uh, so we will cast our traps faster. But it was really fun playing through the campaign with this with this character. I already like traps in a lot, so it was really nice that they made this change to offline play. Um, I was really excited to play it last year, last patch, um, but since I don't play a lot online, um, 
I didn't get to play. And I actually made this character because I wanted to try out the new uh, mosaic build. So it's really nice to have this shadow master, it gives inspiration, uh, motivation to get to that point. I'm missing a gold rune right now. Uh, I could probably cube up to it to make it, but next time I found a gold, find a gold rune, I think I will respec one of my assassins to, uh, to this new mosaic build. Alright, so we need to bow back up, we're starting to lose health. Let's get it on the Merc also. And as you can see, everything dies pretty easily here uh, on players 5. So let's just try quickly to switch out here to see how she will do with the Crescent Moon. And let's just try with the Shaco to make sure that Basically, anybody can afford this build. If you can't find a Shaco, then tune into my next video where I'm actually going to make a, start my video series from zero to hero. Where I will show you how I started a new offline character to get from zero to hero. And as you see, stuff still dies here, lightning immune stuff still dies. These ghosts, they used to be lightning immune, right? So, even if you don't have infinity to wield, stuff still dies. Even if you don't have the griffin, stuff still dies. You can see here the venom lords die a little bit slower because they have a lot of health. It's the same problem I have on my nova source. But we're also on players 5, so if I was at this budget, I would probably keep it on players 3. And then let's see if we pop a death sentry now, will it help a little bit more? Yeah. So when you have uh, don't have the infinity, it helps a little bit more with the death sentry. And we also get a bunch of elites here, we can help out our merc a little bit. Use our Mind Blast to convert someone. So as you can see, even at this level without all of the maxed out gear, you still have a pretty strong character, you, s you still survive really well. You don't have a lot of problems with losing health or anything like this. So let's just go back to our normal gear setup so we can see how she plays. And she is close to being maxed out. Stand here in the middle to give them all conviction hour. I need mana. That is rare. So the Mind Blast skill is very very nice too. You see I just turned four of these and then like when even when you run without the mercenary you can just use the Mind Blast to turn some people and then you just sit back and watch them die. So, turn one guy here and then everything just dies while he's holding them off.
So yeah, the next video I'm going to make probably will be about my two new characters offline. Uh, if you haven't already seen my video from this ladder, I have made two videos with how insanely lucky I got doing the ladder. It's insane. And then I made this new offline character and man, it's like my game is broken or something. I don't know. It's crazy. I also got very lucky on my new offline character. Like I was a little bit sad because first when I made my new offline character I had put the time back a little bit because I wanted to do some terrorized Andy runs. Uh, then I forgot about it that I had turned the time back and it was I was doing the terrorized Andy runs on Nightmare uh, just to check if she could drop some cool stuff. Um, and then I completed all of hell um, with the time still set back. Mephisto dropped me a Shaco. And yeah. So when I turned the PlayStation off without setting the time back to being present time, all of my progress was lost. So I was back in Quest 1 Hell. <laughs> when I turn my PlayStation back on and no Shaco, so I stopped playing that offline character for about a month until I I, I got over the <laughs> the sadness So as you can see it's a little bit slower than the lightning uh, sword, the Nova sword that I have. If you already saw that video, if not, I'll put the link in the in the description. It's a little bit slower, but it's a lot. It's very very safe. Like, it's insane. You know, you probably don't even need to have all of this physical damage reduction. But I just want to make a really tanky character, uh, so it's pretty cool. I really like it actually. That's it, super powerful, you can use it to farm basically anywhere in the game. We could probably use it to farm Nilithak uh, to get some good keys. Very easy to just throw some traps here, wait for them to kill. Very very powerful build and very safe, like this is one of my favorite things about the build is that it's super safe like even here when we get to all of these quill rats that do a lot of damage with the the nails on their back like we have so much physical damage reduction and it even just fell off we just put it back on the fade And as you see, I have a lot of points into strength that I could respec and put into vitality now that I'm using infinity. So she could have way more than 3000 in health like this. So she could be much more tanky than she already is. So yeah, that's my self wield infinity assassin she is level 87 right now and i got through the entire campaign on hell on players level 5 i think i even did act 1 on 8 on players 8 and then i switched to players 5 for the rest uh, because she was i think level 75 when i started because i wanted to be able to use the sunder um, and then i got to level 86 just playing through the campaign so it's pretty awesome. Um, well, yeah, I think that's about it. We don't have any other cool stuff to show off. I have here some bases ready to make the to make the mosaic. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
please subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions leave a like on the video i really appreciate it so thank you guys for watching and until the next video